What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the JR Experience. It's the IJR back with a brand new video. Last night with the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards. I know you were watching because I wouldn't be here giving you this video. So let's break it down, shall we? Let's, let's break this thing down last night. Leave your comments. Rate this video. Like this video. Alright, do that for me before I get into this. Before we break it down, give me your thoughts about the Video Music Awards and the topics of all the performances that I'm going to talk about and the things I didn't like, the things I loved, let me know your feelings on it, alright? So let's break it down. You know, so Lady Gaga opened up the show as a man. You know, it kind of threw me off. I was like, what the hell is going on? What is going on? Like, you know, because you know, you, you knew she was just going to come out as herself. You knew she was going to come out with some type of gimmick, some type of uh, costume. What type of weirdness was she going to come with? She just came as a straight man. And now my mom was like, what? who is that? Who is that? Said, mom, that's Lady Gaga. It is? Yes, yes. So, it was kind of crazy, but you know what, I thought it was genius. I really thought it was genius. You know, the crowd was like really thrown back for a minute, you know, because she gave you the little dramatic, she gave you the, the whole monologue thing in the beginning, and she jumped in and you and I got that piano. You gotta get, if you hate Lady Gaga, love Lady Gaga, you got to respect her. She's a hell of a performer, and she gives her all on stage, male or female. She's going to give you her best, and they, that's all you can ask for, somebody to give you their money's worth. So, hey, thumbs up. To Lady Gaga, great performance, great performance of you and I. Um, other thing I really love, you know, Jay Z, Kanye West rocked the stage, gave you Otis. You know, they came out and rocked it. Uh, it was just great to see them on stage together. You know, giving you a little of uh, the throne. You know, giving you that that real hip hop with the Otis Redding uh, song in the background. Really like that song. A lot of people love that song. Uh, people love that album. So good to see Kanye and Jay Z. I wish they could have did a little bit more. You know, give it a little more than Otis. You know, pretty much they were just there to give you just a little, uh, just a little splash or something. Just give you a little something. You know, you wish they would just got into something else. You know, gave you some other flavor on top of that. But it's always good to have Jay Z and Kanye West. You know, you know, rock the stage. So good look right there. Uh, other thing I liked about the VMAs, another performance. Chris Brown. Chris Brown brought it like he always does. Chris Brown's one of the best performers out there, hands down. Nobody can dance like this man. Uh, right now, when it comes to the dancing game, he is on point. I was on my Facebook and my Twitter talking about, look, if Chris Brown has a dance school, sign me up. Chris Brown's dance school of Harlem, Chris Brown's Chris Brown's dance school of, of Crenshaw, Inglewood. I don't care where it's at, South Central. Sign me up, all right? I want to get down like Chris Brown. The boy can get down. Uh, so, good luck on Chris Brown doing his thing. Uh, only thing I'm gonna say about Chris Brown. The only thing I do not like. I wish he would stop lip syncing, but. I wish he would just stop with the lip sync and just give, give me a little. I want to hear your voice at least. But, you know, he does so much dancing. You know, it's kind of hard. As hard as he dances, how can you sing? So he just doesn't doesn't do it at all. But if you're going to lip sync, you know, do it right. And he does it right and he gives it all. So thumbs up to Chris Brown giving another great performance. You know, he never really disappoints when he gets, comes on stage. Uh, what other thing I like? What else? What else? You know what? The, the Neo Pitbull performance was alright, Pitbull Neo uh, was alright, it was cool, you know, I, it was one of those, you know, you could have got up and got a snack or went and did something else, you know, I could take it or leave it, uh, Neo, you know, he does a little dancing thing, but is it to it me, is the Neo is kind of falling off, Neo is kind of going back to the pack, I don't know what it is, his album didn't do too well, that, uh, that just recently came out, maybe a few months ago, uh, early in the year, he, nobody's buying his album. And he went double wood, you know, it's not a good look. Uh, hell of a songwriter, great performer, but Neo, got to step your game up, baby. Get, get, step your game up, you know. Now that Chris Brown is back in the game and he's hitting hard and he's really taking that uh, R&B, you know, him, Trey Songz, these young cats. Uh, Neo, you're young, but, hey, don't get forgotten about. You know, you're talented. Step the game up, Neo. Step it up on the solo side, all right? That's just my opinion. Y'all give your opinion about Neo. Is it just, or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Uh, another thing, uh, you know who else I like? I like Jessie J. Jessie J doing a thing with the broken foot, broken ankle, whatever she had going on. She can blow. The girl is talented. Jessie J, uh, she just does her thing. You know, her voice is strong. Uh, she's a little different. I love talent. See, I just love talent, okay? And, you know, I know she just gave her bits and pieces when the commercials were going in and out, but Jessie J was blowing. She was definitely was blowing them songs. And so kudos to her. I hope that uh, I really hope when uh, Beyonce goes on tour, you know, we'll get to Beyonce later. I hope that Jessie J is on that tour. 
you know, if Beyonce has a tour at all, but we'll talk about that later. But I want to see Jesse J open up for Beyonce. Um, another thing is the Britney Spears tribute. The Britney Spears tribute was a little kooky to me. I, things I did not like about it. Lady Gaga comes out, you know, still as a man. Lady Gaga, you let that man stuff go a little too long, though. That man stuff went a little too long, and she should have just did it in the beginning. It was good then, but when you came back out, you did it all night long. All right. All right. We, we had enough. We had enough. We know it's you. You could come out. You could. I know you played that character. You played it a little too long. The curl just didn't curl all the way. You got what I'm saying? Just let it go, Gaga. But, you know, she introduces Britney. Uh, the, the kids come out and do their little dancing, all the little, all these little kid Britneys. You know, I thought that was cool. You know, Britney seemed like she seemed to enjoy herself. She gets on stage with Lady Gaga. It looked like they were going to kiss. I'm sitting like, uh-oh, what are they going to do? Gaga looking at her like she's about to eat her up like a piece of meat. And nothing went down. So I'm like, all right. And then Britney starts talking. And then once when I heard her start saying and talking about the next performer, Beyonce, I said, what? And how talented she is and how I haven't seen nothing like her before. And we start at the same time. And I'm sitting there like, hold it. Hold it. Now, I'm a Beyonce stan. I'm going to say this now. If you've seen my other videos, you can know I'm a Beyonce stan. But, Brittany, you just got the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award. That's the top award of achievement award that, that MTV can give you. Okay? At, at the video, at the VMAs. You are going to give up your moment? To Beyonce, you're gonna you're sharing your moment. What were you doing? You should have took that in to thank you, everybody for thank all the people who've been around you. Thank you for your career achievement. Thank MTV. You know, talk about it. That was your pride. That was your moment, and you just you just blew it. I don't I don't I just didn't understand why did you use that moment and why did MTV use that moment to for you to pretty much like like pretty. To, Pass it on to Beyonce. I don't like like you're gonna be, you're Beyonce's intro. Like you're Beyonce's wingman. What was that, Brittany? That was not a good look. You are an icon yourself. You are a legend in the game. You know people like it or not. You know she's like 100 million albums sold. How many platinum albums? Brittany stands alone or by herself. She should have not given up that moment to Beyonce at all. Brittany, you should have stayed firm because do you think that Beyonce would have done that for you or any other artist? Any other, any other artist would have did that for you, would have set you up. So why did you do that? Come on, Brittany. Come on, baby. Come on. This, this, that's just not cool. I, did, I didn't like that at all. You guys give me your thoughts about the Brittany tribute, if it was a tribute. It was more of like, it was just like a, thank you, Brittany, now get to Beyonce. Like, that's not cool at all. And MTV, you're not cool for that either. You should not have did that. Should have. You should have had some singers. You should have had some performances for, for Britney. You should have had like three or four singers do some Britney songs like Katy Perry, the young girls coming up to and uh, give kudos to Britney Spears. That's how you give a tribute. Not no bullshit that you gave her yesterday. Wrong, MTV. You're wrong for that. Uh, but introduced to Beyonce. Beyonce comes on stage and does Love on Top. And, you know, before, you know, the pregnancy news came out before she hits the stage. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, man. And here she coming out. She was making me a little nervous when she was singing and rocking, you know. And I was like, oh, because you knew she had a baby. I was like, okay, be watch your steps. Watch what you're doing. Please don't fall. That's just my fear. I was a little little iffy on that. But she killed it. She really did kill it on Love on Top. One of my best songs. One of the best songs on the four album. If you ain't got the album, go pick it up. And uh, just it just killed it. The vocals was all point. People trying to say she was lip syncing. I really don't know. I don't think so. But you never know. If she did, she fooled the hell out of me. But with Beyonce, her vocals are so pure and so smooth and just they don't crack, you know, so you get fooled if she was. But I think she wasn't. Uh, you guys leave your thoughts on that. But the performance was amazing. And just to cap it all off at the end, you know, she takes off the bell, boom, and shows off the baby bump. And, you know, everybody in the crowd is just loving it. Beautiful moment. What a great VMA moment, a great moment. Uh, one of the best moments of the year that Beyonce is finally pregnant. I guess she said, you know what? I'm not going to let the media do this. I'm not going to let In Touch Magazine people try to say this, this, and that if I'm pregnant. I'm going to let you all know right now, yes, I'm pregnant. And to do that on the VMA stage, I thought that was a beautiful, great moment. Jay-Z, Kanye West, you know, going crazy. You know, Jay-Z you know, saying, hey, thank you, everybody. My mom was making me laugh talking about it. When Kanye reacted, you would have thought it was his baby. And that was true. Did you see Kanye's reaction? Kanye was like, yeah, I'm the baby. Hey, I'm the baby. 
I the bad bitch. No, Kanye ain't your damn baby. Yeah, I know that's your little sister, but damn. You know, that's Jay-Z's baby. But, hey, he's just happy for his little sister. Happy for his big brother, Jay-Z. And, uh, you know, that was just a great moment. Great moment uh, in MTV history. Beyonce, pregnant. It is what it is. Don't hate. Congratulate. And uh, now, towards the end, after Beyonce's performance, uh, and all that went down, we have a pregnant show on that she's pregnant. It went, it show kind of slowed down a little bit, but then when they did the tribute to Amy Winehouse, uh, I thought that was a, it was cool bringing Bruno Mars out. I thought they could have did a little bit more. They should have brought Adele on stage to do, uh, and do tribute to Amy Winehouse. Could have brought some singers to do tribute. Could have brought Lady Gaga to tribute, uh, Amy Winehouse. They should have did a little bit more to just Bruno Mars, one of the young cats coming in, should have did a little bit more to me. Uh, to pay tribute to her and her her jazziness and her pure soul, you know Tony Bennett. You know a lot of young cats don't even know who none of the young kids today don't even know who Tony Bennett is, a legend in the game. Brought him out. You could have let him do a number. So kind of a letdown on the tribute. It was cool, but they could have did a little bit more. You guys give me your thoughts about the Amy Winehouse tribute and God rest her soul. What a beautiful talent. Just uh, tragically passed away. I mean tragically, you know, just drugs. Drugs are bad. A bad thing. But you couldn't deny her talent at all. And that's pretty much it on my wrap-up about the VMAs. Give me your thoughts about the Video Music Awards. And leave your thoughts. Leave your comments. Like this video. Rate this video. Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel, Warrior 04086. This is the JR Experience. And before I go, I want to say a happy birthday to the king of music, Michael Jackson. Today would have been uh, his birthday. I think he would have been 52. 52 years old, and what a soul! What what are the what? Just the best of all time. What more can you say? Uh, so happy birthday to him, the greatest of all time, the greatest to ever touch a mic, to ever the greatest to ever grace a stage, Michael Joseph Jackson. So, on that note, this is the JR experience. And before you know what, speaking of Michael Jackson, before I go, I'm gonna keep stopping. Put your favorite Michael Jackson song on the comment box. If you do do anything, whoever your favorite Michael Jackson song in memory of Michael. Put your favorite Michael Jackson song on the comment box. Just leave that, you know, let everybody know, hey, we love you, Mike. My favorite Michael Jackson song is Dirty Diana. It changes often, but right now it's Dirty Diana. And on that note, hey, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe. This is the JR Experience. Peace. I'm through.